everyone welcome to another video or welcome if you are new doing a bit of a different video today i haven't done one of these before but somebody requested them i think it's either that or i saw it in my youtube analytics that you guys were searching for them and that might be why but i thought we'd do a bit of a reading vlog i'd never heard of them until i saw this in my analytics and i had a little bit of a search and i i quite like them and a lot of you guys are here from my boot content and the, mainly the only boot content that I have done is Waterstones hauls because I've done review videos and people weren't that interested in them. I think I tried a monthly reads video where I like went through the books that I'd read in the month and it got like 20 views so I assumed people weren't really interested in that. So I thought we'd do a bit of a reading vlog. I don't really know what I'm doing so if you enjoy this please let me know please give it a like uh, if I'm doing it wrong again please let me know oh please try to get something from up from the set if you can hear him scratching away if I'm doing it wrong please let me know because I think I've seen different ones where people do it for like a time stint of reading and then some people do it for like an entire book I can't do it for an entire book this book this vlog will be like two weeks long I'm sorry guys I can't do it if you are new I have Erlen syndrome so I have a visual processing disorder which makes reading a little bit different I also have ADHD so reading doesn't happen quickly for me it's a slow process so I can't do a full book I do apologize but I'm trying to get into reading more during the day as well which works beautifully for this because it'll motivate me to read during the day. I am very much a reader before bed type person, uh, I, but I've set myself a goal of, I think, I can't remember, I think it's 25 books this year, and last year I read 22. So I'm gonna have to read a little bit more to hit that goal. And last year I only read when we went away and before bed. If I introduce reading during the day, it'll help with that goal. I have been doing it, it has been getting better, but, I'm going to do it for a longer stint today. It is about four o'clock and I want to read for a while. So I thought I'd talk you through the... I'm actually reading two books at the minute, which I don't normally do. But I'm actually trying to read a non-fiction book as well. So I thought they worked well because I'm not a fan of reading two fiction books at the same time. Like the two different stories. It's just not for me. I, I don't like it. So I have a fiction book, like a novel, and then a non-fiction book. So they're completely separate. And then that feels like I can do it better. I am actually struggling with my fiction book at the minute. So hang on, let me grab it. I am reading Skin of the Sea by Natasha Bowen. And it's just, it's very slow. I am used to, or like, very fast paced books, medium to fast, mainly fast paced books. Thrillers like, tend to be what I read, but last year I got into YA a little bit more, fantasy, not romance, but I think this is classed as YA. Uh, it's, I think it's one of those ones that, because it's written by a woman, it's in YA, it should probably just be not YA, but it just, it's really slow paced for me. I'm really struggling to get through it. Um, that's how far where I am so this is the front of the book so I'm getting there but I've been reading this for like two weeks already and like for, for this side of the book it's quite a while for me this book is about the Mami Wati I don't know if I'm pronouncing that Mami Wata please correct me if anybody thinks that I'm saying that wrong this is about the Mami Wata and basically the the storyline is the Mami Wata are the I don't know how what because I was describing this to Jack the other day and I don't know how they're like they're not goddesses but they're like the minions of a goddess if you get what I mean like they're the workers of a goddess and they basically take the souls of people who've died in sea to the next life they give the souls to the goddess and then they are kind of like set to rest and this is a story of one of the Mami Wata has saved a life from somebody who has been pushed overboard on one of the ships that was transporting slaves from Africa to England, America, wherever it was. So he has been dumped overboard. Obviously they think he's dead. And then she thinks he's dead. She goes up to him and he's not dead. And then she saves him she's not meant to do that and then it's basically about like the repercussions of that obviously I don't want to give any spoilers but that's what this is about and it's just it's just very slow for me so I'm, I am struggling to read it but I like the premise I like the storyline I think if I didn't like it I would have DNF'd it for how slow it is but I do like it and I like like 
how it's completely people of colour. It's very, very refreshing. And I also like that it's like a different culture's kind of gods kind of structure. So I'm enjoying that aspect, but it's just a bit slow for me. Then I'm also reading Unmasking Autism. I am autistic. I wanted to read this book. I'm actually tagging it as well, which I've never done before. I wasn't going to, but then I read a passage and I was like, I would like to tag that, so I've tagged it. I've done it where I've done pink for just things that resonate with me and red things that I want to remember. Uh, so that's what that is. I've got, what, right, so these are the, I bought these bookmarks for Jack for Christmas. How freaking cute are they? Hang on. Can you see? It's like a little leaf. So it's grown out at the top. <laughs> freaking love it but that's how far I am through with this one I only started it like a week and a half ago a week ago and this is the one that I don't read this before bed I like novels before bed so this has been my before bed book this has been during the day book so you can see I have been better with reading during the day I just haven't been very consistent so these are all the books I am reading currently I don't know which to read now I'm desperate to get through this, so I might read this for a bit and then if I get bored, go on to the Unmasking Autism. It is a Monday, so if you are subscribed, you will know Monday is kind of like my day for staying at home. I have started doing kind of like a reset thing on a Monday, so I've hoovered, I've done like skincare and just felt a bit more refreshed. The living room's looking tidy. I've had the heater on to try and boost the heat up in this room a little bit. It's just me and Ho Oakley home alone. So I'm feeling like I don't need to do anything because yesterday's video is up because it's a Monday. I've done the Sunday video. So I've got nothing to stop me. So I'm gonna get, try and get, Oakley's currently chewing a toy up me. <laughs> so I'm gonna get comfy, get a drink and then read for a little bit. I think I'm gonna put music on because that helps me read, helps me stay concentrated with my ADHD. I can't do music with um, words in it though, otherwise I'll not. I also need it to not be music that I know. So I love listening to classical music. So I was like, you'd think, oh, well, that'll work. But because I know the classical music, I'll sing along to it even in, like, in my head, even though it's music. So I have, what's the playlist called? I used to use this exact playlist when I did uni work as well. So it's a Spotify one and it's literally just called Deep Focus and it's all kind of music that's just sounds. I hope that makes sense. Have a look on your way if you've got Spotify, but I think I'm gonna put this on and we're gonna read Skin of the Sea. dark now so I'm just going around and putting the lights on uh, got the lamp on and I just need to put sorry oh, do you want to go out or are you gonna be naughty you were just barking at something oh, well then we'll see if he behaves with that uh, he's on. there we go we now have lighting are you done are you what are you doing Come on then, if you're just gonna be exploring, get back in. It's going better now. I feel like there are some books 
that are quite slow way well, i say some books it's probably just all slow paced books i don't read them that often but i feel like slow paced books are so much better um read quickly because the last book that i read i read holy island I've forgotten the name of the woman who writes them it's the dcr ryan book it's the first one it's like all it's basically like detective murder mystery all set up in the northeast and i've been wanting to try them for a while but i um didn't really enjoy that but i was reading that for ages like it took forever for me to read that because i was kind of out of read and sync with that book as well because it was like christmas and stuff when i was reading it so i was just busy what are you doing <laughs> just staring at me in the background and that i don't i don't think that was no it was quite slow paced but that one just felt like it stretched on forever as well but when you read it quickly like you read it in good chunks it's not actually that slow but when you read in it just like a chapter or two every night it makes it even worse so i think i just need to be more aware that if i'm reading a slow paced book i need to actually read it in a good chunk of time rather than just reading small portions before bed which works with thrillers but obviously doesn't really work for these types of books i'm kind of in the groove with it now i am um, how many pages have i read i've read 40 pages exactly and it's like 10 past five so in like an hour so i'm getting into a good groove of it if it feels like it's coming up to the climax of it kind of so i think i'm going to keep reading this ugly's being a little needy boy aren't you i know you're just staring at me but i'm not sure why you don't need to go out what are you looking at? I might give him a dentist stick and see if it shuts him up and gives him something to do. But I'm going to head back to reading this and see how much I can get, see how much more I can get done. It is about half six now and Jack has just got home and he has brought me a Krispy Kreme. So I'm very happy. So I'm going to stop and eat this um, and hear about Jack's day and then I'll maybe go back to reading. Jack is going to go take Oakley out. And I am going to play on Valorant for a little while because I think as soon as Jack gets back with Oakley, I'm going to go in the bath and then read more in there. So I'm having a bit of a break because I just don't want to like overwhelm myself with it. And I want it to feel natural because I don't want it to feel like a chore. I want it to feel like a hobby so I can actually have a hobby and not get like sick of it and keep going when I don't really want to. So I'm going to have a break from it, play on Valorant and then I'll read when I head in the bath a little bit later on. Okay, I am in the bath, uh, so we're going to keep here upwards. I can see. Yeah, Jack can see. He's standing right there. I've just got my hair and like up in a bun to keep it out of the water. I'm sorry if it keeps going in and out of focus. We're currently working on the candle light and the landing light. So, in the bath, going to be reading Unmasking Autism. I have my post-it notes, lemonade on uh, i don't know how much i'm gonna read because i don't know how long i'm gonna be in for but we will read this by the light of the candle light hello everyone it's now the next day i had i actually didn't end up reading for ages in the bath last night because me and jack realized that it was like half nine and we hadn't had tea we hadn't sorted tea so we had to figure out what we were eating so i didn't eat for that i didn't read for that much i read before bed and i'm about to read again it i've been out to get my nails done this morning so i haven't read it all i have valentine's day nails on uh i don't know if you can oh, you know what the focus on this camera is like there we go they're little cute hearts uh i don't know if you can see the tips they're little hearts too and we've got little negative space hearts they're very very sweet i read last night and look how close i am to the end i am um, very very nearly there and i think let's have a look oh i've just realized this is a series just flip to the end uh to have a look where i am in terms of how many pages i've got left read on for a sneak peek at the next book right air uh, acknowledgements three i think 303 is the last page and i'm on at 287 so i've got like what 25 pages left i think i can get through that i'm not sure what the plan is because jack's nearly finishing work so i don't think i'm going to read for like ages but 
I'm gonna try and finish this book. Okay, so I've actually finished. It did not take as long as I thought it was going to at all. Uh, so yeah, done. Finished book from reading during the day. I don't think, I think that book would have taken me like at least another week if I'd only read like at night. So I am very pleased that I read it during the day. It made it feel so much less slow. I enjoyed it, it was really good. I have just like updated my story graph on it. I realized I don't think I've ever linked my story graph if anybody wants to follow me, so I'll leave it below. But I, uh, <laughs> I gave it a 3.25 out of 5. I just, I was a bit bored at times, it was slow, but I really, really enjoyed learning about the African mythology. There's a section at the back where the author talks about the African mythology and what inspired her and things like that. That was really interesting and she also has further reading, which is just incredible. I loved that it was an all black character book. It was really, really refreshing. I really, really enjoyed it. I just, I, I wasn't like, blown away by it so i gave it 3.25 but second book of the year done i am not sure what i'm going to do now i actually think i'm not going to read i am actually thinking about buying a new camera for youtube because it, i mean you've you'll have noticed that i keep having to stop it and cut it and like refocusing it this camera is just not cutting it at the minute and a photographer that I follow on Instagram is selling their vlogging camera and I need to try and figure out which what I want to do because the one that I've been saving for it isn't that camera so I need to decide which one I want it's not a, the thing that's difficult is that it's not a case of like which is which one is better they're both good they're just different so I need to figure out which one I want and then if I want to buy second hand it's just I can't this camera is so bad and I actually feel sorry for all you guys who have had to watch it for however long you've been subscribed for like I understand that it's really really annoying and I'm just done with it so I need to figure out what I'm doing with that because it's already been two days since I mes messaged the photographer saying that I was interested so I need to maybe do a little bit more research to try and make a decision so I don't think I'm going to read any more I might read I might read some unmasking autism because I haven't I've hardly read any on this this vlog so I haven't been able to talk about it at all so I will do some research and then get back to reading my non-fiction book I started reading and uh, I wonder if I know there's a few people who subscribe to me who have Erlens because they found me through my Erlens videos and I wonder if anybody is seeing the same thing that I <laughs> reading these two pages is horrific so I have rivers which means like the white is my focus like I can't not see the white and the ADHD oh my god it's just like jumping out I'm really struggling to not see the ADHD so I've got my rivers going through and then ADHD as well I wonder if anybody else who has Erlen's <laughs> is getting that because oh my god this is gonna be hard to read this page Hello everyone, it is now the next day. So I read, I think about like 20 pages last night. I know, hello baby. I've read about like, maybe less than that. It was more, probably more like 15. The bit that I was reading was talking about uh, comorbidities and ASD, so things like ADHD and brain trauma. Uh, obviously that's not really a comorbidity, but it was talking about how like, the, so the book uses a lot of like uh, examples, case studies, people's stories in it and it was talking about how one of the people that the author is talking to was diagnosed as autistic then got into a, I think it was a car crash and had pretty extensive um, brain injury and they were saying that because after the crash they weren't talking and if they hadn't been diagnosed with autism before the crash they might have thought that was a reflection on the brain damage where it was actually the autism and it was just the person being non-verbal and they found a way to communicate without using speech so that was very interesting i have just i have finished on when i got to chapter three so the first, I think there was the introduction and then the second chapter was like, what is autism and talking about autism in general? And now this is talking about the anatomy of the mask. So I stopped at like a good point and then at like a 
chapter end, which is always delightful. I picked a book to read last night. I, we didn't actually read, we fell asleep. But I have started, I've chosen to read How to Kill Your Family next because I saw this went viral a little bit. Jack got me this for Christmas. Jack bought me three books, four books for Christmas. Uh, two of them I'm not reading and then two of them I am and this is one that I am reading. He bought me Verity, which I've already read. So that went to my sibling, Hannah. And then he also bought me Where the Crawdads Sing because he didn't know about the terrible things that the author has done and now I don't know what to do with that book. I think I might just donate it. I'm not entirely sure because he has used his money to buy that book but I'm not going to read it. So yeah, he bought me this one and then I can't remember what the other one's called. I'll come on to it in another video I'm sure but I'm going to read How to Kill Your Family because the other ones that I have are I've got Cersei and then another one that's not really well known and I wanted like a thriller or something that was going to be like exciting to read like easy to read for me because the last two that I've read have been a bit more of a slug so I thought right well I, can't, I don't want to read Cersei because there's a 50 50 chance that I'm not gonna like that book because I did not like Song of Achilles and the other one there's a big chance that I might not like it because I just picked it up because I like the sound of the blurb in the cover. So I'm going with a viral one because that means that I actually might like it. I think this is a thriller. It says it's a dark and comedy. So if it's dark, I'm assuming thriller. I don't really know what it's about, but that's what I'm reading next. Haven't started it yet. So that is going to be the end of this video because I am not going to read today because I very much need to do work. I need to edit a video. So... I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please make sure to leave the video a like. It lets me know that you like seeing this kind of stuff and reading such a thing that I don't know what to post because I think people want to see reading like stuff, but I am very much not a book content person, so I don't know what people want to see from book content, reading content, things like that. So if you liked it, please make sure to like it, comment, give me other ideas for videos, things like that. Uh, subscribe if you are new and I shall hopefully see you in another video.